Welcome to this lesson on sketching parameters. Parameters are an extremely powerful tool to use during the design process. Here we can define specific dimensions that can be applied to the entire design and gives you the power to set the same dimension to a number of features using just one named expression. You can take comfort in the fact that you only need to amend one figure and it will propagate against those dimensions that have been assigned the same expression. This video will detail the types of parameters and how you can apply them to our valve bonnet we are designing. First I'm going to explain how to access the parameters dialog box and cover what's inside. Open up the change parameters dialog box under the modify drop down or through the shortcut command. We are met with three headings which are favourites, user parameters and model parameters. I'll explain how we can add expressions to our favourites along with how you can really utilise user parameters later so for now, I'll start with model parameters. Model parameters are automatically added as you create dimensions to your sketch or when you generate a solid body. Every dimension sketch or 3D feature you create will be captured here and assigned a name, unit, expression and value. You can update any value here and find it propagates back to the design. In this case, you can see linear, radial and plane offsets to name a few. You can also see the parameters are separated per component and if you click on a component in the design workspace the respective parent tree will be highlighted in the parameter dialog box. This allows you to easily source any parameters you wish to review or amend for a particular part. Next we're going to take a look at user parameters. User parameters allow you to set and customise commonly used parameters which are not automatically generated as in the model parameters. This is particularly useful when you already know common dimensions you want to place within your design. For example, if working with a pre-designed component or with predefined engineering standards. Here you can see user specified ID and ODs which have already been created and assigned to the respective parts of our design. In this case we can see the two flanges need to be the same OD, therefore by setting a parameter to be defined for both we can improve our design workflow much more easily. Here I'll create a flange outside diameter parameter which I will then assign to our valve body and bonnet flange to highlight how effective parameters are. In the parameters dialog box, first click on the plus symbol under user parameters. Enter the details of your parameter in the respective cells and hit OK. Now we'll amend some existing dimensions that will reference this parameter. Open up and edit sketch 8 which sits under the valve body. You will see the 70mm diameter at the top which is what we need to change so in the future we only need to update our value in the parameters dialog box and this value will update any dimensions that have this flange OD reference. Double click on the dimension and type in OD. You will see a list pops up with our newly created flange OD at the bottom. Select this and the dimension is now updated. You will see the value is changed with an FX preceding it. This FX is indicating that an expression is being used as opposed to a directly entered value. Going back to the bonnet Let's edit this sketch and change the flange diameter to also reference this same parameter. Stop the sketch and now we have both the OD for the valve body and the bonnet flange set to the parameter flange OD which is currently 70mm. Now when I amend our newly created parameter both flanges update simultaneously. Previously if you needed to amend these outside diameters you may have had to do so separately for each body, meaning additional design time and more risk of modelling errors. With parameters, we can simply open the dialog box, amend the respective value and you'll see any reference features will be updated simultaneously. As in this case, there is a small issue we need to fix. This error was a result of independently set values which do not update when we change the parameter value. To correct this, we can go into the machining centre sketch and again add the flange OD parameter to this dimension. Now the issue is fixed and when we update the parameter, all three respective dimensions that create our model are also updated. We can also add formulae to our dimensions. For instance, I want the eight holes we created to be perfectly centred to the top surface of our valve body flange. I'll first create a flange ID parameter, then set the sketch dimension accordingly using the formula. Thank you. 
Now you can see when I update our flange OD value again, the holes will always be centered with that top face. Finally, favorites is useful when you have a model defined parameter you need to either reference or amend frequently. Click on the star next to any model or user defined parameter and this will appear under the favorites tab. Parameters are a powerful modeling tool, helping you reduce design time, mitigate modeling errors and maintain a consistent model. You have the ability to change just one value for a multitude of dimensions features, improving your workflow and design process, as well as improving design and manufacturing collaborations.